Hello everyone, I'm Danielle Hendon and this is my nursing theorist presentation. My nursing theorist was Martha E. Rogers. She created the theory of science of unitary of human beings. She believed that the human cannot be separated from their environment when addressing health and treatment. The human and their environment coexists. Martha E. Rogers was born on May 12, 1914, in Dallas, Texas, and died on March 13, 1994. She received her nursing diploma from Knoxville General Hospital School of Nursing in 1936 and her public health nursing degree from Georgia Peabody College in Tennessee in 1937. She earned her master's degree from Teachers College at Columbia University in 1945 and her doctorate from Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore in 1954. She worked as a professor at New York University School of Nursing and she was also a fellow for the American Academy of Nursing. Martha published many books on her theory. One of these books included An Introduction to the Theoretical Basic of Nursing. Martha E. Rogers was inducted into the American Nurses Association Hall of Fame for her work of her theory in 1996 posthumously. Rogers' theory is not directly testable due to a lack of concrete hypothesis, but it is testable in principle. Bonus fact, Martha E. Rogers shares a birthday with Florence Nightingale. So what exactly is her theory? Her model addresses the importance of the environment as an integral part of the patient and uses that knowledge to help nurses blend the science and art of nursing to ensure patients have a smooth recovery and get back to the best health possible. Rogers defined health as an expression of the life process. Illness and health are part of the same continuum and the events occurring throughout the patient's life show how the patient is achieving his or her life potential. These are the basic characteristics that Martha described the life process of the patient being openness, pattern, energy field, and pan-dimensionality. Openness refers to the fact that the human and environmental fields are constantly exchanging their energies. Pattern is the distinguishing characteristic of an energy field that is seen in a single wave. It is an abstraction and simply serves to give identity to the field. The energy field is the fundamental unit of all. Both living and unliving, it provides a way to view the patient and the environment as a whole and it continuously changes in intensity, density, and extent. Pan-dimensionality is a domain that has no spatial or temporal attributes. Martha E. Rogers believed the role of the nurse is to serve people. And how can we do that? Therapeutically, holistically, and creatively. Rogers believed the nurse should use therapeutic touch and using color in the patient's room to process the change of the environment. Holistically, Rogers believed nursing interventions, such as using meditation or music, could be used to coordinate the rhythm of their human and their environment. Creatively, Rogers even believed the use of humor and guided imagery could help patients move towards better health. We still use all of these techniques today and have learned about many of them already. Thank you all so much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed my presentation and have learned a lot as much as I did while doing the research to put this PowerPoint presentation together. Overall, I thought this theory is a bit difficult to comprehend, but basically Martha E. Rogers' theory is treating the patient from all perspectives and not just physically their bodies. Martha E. Rogers put together that a patient's healing process is body, mind, spirit, and soul. So, questions. One, what is it that you take away from Martha's theory? Two, what nursing inventions could you do regarding her theory? Here's my references. Thank you so much again.